Thank you for joining us once more on the Retrospection section, where we review terrible writing we were once proud of. I'm Max, here with my co-host Rava, and we love to make fun of ourselves. Today we're making fun of our friend Chase's warrior cat ripoff, Vox Treachery. Sit back, relax, and cringe with us as we continue our journey of animal-related nonsense. Evil Demon Nar Who and King Acceleron. Boy. These are Chase's these are Chase's things that he gave us when he sent the document. Oh, um, okay. So the parts the part names aren't original. Yeah, no, those are his his oh, more I'm recent. I'm kind of works. disappointed. I know, me too. That would have been funny. It was nice to be in the forest again. All the green trees, the sweet, clean smell, the soft, grassy ground. I followed the footsteps farther into the forest. Soon we came to a huge grassy clearing with a hill in the middle. At the top I saw a gigantic den with the Vox forces guarding it. Look, there's Shining Radar, whispered Gloria. I need you to distract them while I get Shining Radar and the guards I ordered. But how will I distract them, asked Gloria. Um, throw rocks and make weird sounds, I answered. So Gloria did as I said and started throwing rocks and making penguin screeches. I ran over to a bush and (laughs) saw... What do penguin screeches sound like? I don't know. I'll have to get a sound effect. It's probably like... Hang on. I'm about to look it up. I'm imagining Gloria sounding like it's just this like horrendous eldritch scream. Uh, I ran over to a bush and saw that Shining Radar was tied with a sailor's knot. That's so specific. (laughs) I ran over to Shining Radar and used my very sharp white claws to rip open the knot. When they were all free, Gloria ran over to me. I looked to the right and saw Vax guards chasing a squirrel. Let's get out of here, I whispered. Good idea, said Shining Radar. So we ran south without knowing it. Soon we came upon a big old termite-infested rope bridge. Then one of the guards ran onto it. A moment later, it fell off the cliff. (laughs) Everyone just randomly falls off cliffs. Yeah. Now how do we get across, asked Gloria. Maybe we should use that rope over there, suggested a guard. What rope, I asked. The one by you, you tail, yelled the guard. Well, then I looked and saw that a tan thick rope was by my tail. It was a, at least 500 inches long. 500 inches? <laughs> how much is that? Like 30 feet? Check, please. Inches to feet. Because this is important to me. It's almost 42 feet. Did you say 30 before? Yeah. That's actually a closer guess than I would have given. I'm amazed at that. I'm, numbers are not my friend. You're telling me. <laughs> one by one, we went over the cliff and onto the other side. Then we ran through the Catada Forest until finally we made it to the Osterson Forest. I decided to hunt a few mice before moving on, but I only caught one mouse. A few hours later, we went. We left the elite cats and joined our journey, or continued our journey. Five days later, we were at the border of the far southern desert. It's so hot here, moaned Gloria. Yeah, it has to be about 115 degrees, I meowed. Stop whining or I will hit you right in the lip, snapped Shining Radar. (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) Stop whining or I will hit you right in the lip. I will boop you in the motherfucking snoot. I'm gonna threaten people. I'm gonna threaten you with that now. Great. Anytime you complain about anything to me. (laughs) If you ever text me about anything negative, I will say stop whining or I will hit you right in the lip. (laughs) Yeah, but if I'm badly ingured, who will save you and Gloria when you get captured, I asked. I don't know, answered Shining Radar. So we stoped arguing and started traveling farther into the sandy hot desert. Soon clouds covered the sun and the wind kicked in very fast. Sand twirled in the air as if a dust devil would rise at any moment. Then the sand reached a hundred feet up. It's a sandstorm, screamed Shining Radar. So we ran to find- it's a haboob. So we ran to find a covered shelter. Then I could hear Gloria yelling, I found a hole we can hide in. So I ran over there and we saw a small hole. So we jumped down and fell into darkness. Star Trek, into darkness. You beat me by one second. I was taking a breath to say that. <sighs> Joke's on you. I can't take a breath. <laughs> oh, buddy. I opened my eyes to see that I was in a dark in a room with dark blue walls and a badly tiled floor. On the walls were torches Mood. with fire. I'm just... I'm literally just picturing, like, the fucking sand temples from Terraria. Oh. On the the far wall was a chair, and in it sat a weird-looking lion wearing a crown, and next to him a large, dirty, bad-smelling panther wearing a bright orange shirt and red shorts. What? That sounds like a middle school mascot. Yeah, it does. Like, why why is it, like, high schools usually will just have the animal, but the middle schools always put, like, a shirt on the animal? Because it's indecent to have a naked animal. I am Exclaron, said the lion. 
I'm Narsal Dilar, said the panther. Gazundite. Is Narsal is its own word, so is D and so is Lar for our readers. Nar who? asked Gloria. Narsal Dilar, weren't you listening? Ansel answered Narsal Dilar. But you can call me Narsal for short. Okay, Narsal, where are we? I asked rudely. We are in Exceleron's Excal- lair, answered Narsal. Which way is out? I yelled. You can't leave, chanted Exceleron. Why not? asked Shining Radar. We have to eat our visitors after we say our names, <laughs> explained Narsal. What? <laughs> that is a great rule. Are they cursed? I think they're cursed. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, we have to eat our visitors after we say our names, explained Narsal. Incro yelled Narsal. Oh, great, they know magic, I thought. Prote yelled Shining There's Radar. There's magic in this? Oh, Shining Radar knows magic too, I thought, as they did their magic war. I led Gloria outside. <laughs> That's so casual. The sandstorm was over, but it was still windy and dusty, so we decided to head towards the forest. Okay, wait, wait, wait. That's definitely the next thing we write. It's going to be about someone who, like, lives in a world of, like, magic and heroes, and they're just, like, an NPC. They're just a side person. Yeah, they're just like, okay, they're fighting Every time anything comes, they're like, oh no, a magic war is starting, so they just walk away. (laughs) Just turn the other cheek. They're like, I'm getting out. Uh, we can't leave Shining Radar behind, yelled Gloria. Yes, we can, because if we stayed, Narsal would use the Incro curse on us, then he would kill us and make a feast for X... God. Exceleron. 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 He's he's literally an Excel spreadsheet. (laughs) In tiger form. (laughs) (laughs) I'm laughing. Really. Okay. I'm laughing, you explain as you die. Each cough is a chuckle. Plus, Shining Radar knows the prote, knows prote the shiddle spell, I spat. How can you learn magic, asked Gloria. There are only five ways. One. Only five? Only five. Going inside uh, inside Mount Oster- Osterson. Two, having magic dust put inside your heart. Three, having been hit by the flep jinx. Four, being born in Avalocal Mystic Water. And five, falling into a mermaid's clam, I explained. What? I'm not doing any of those, cried Gloria. <laughs> that's not a euphemism. That's a euphemism. Mm, he was eight, let me fall into your mermaid clam. <laughs> he was eight! It's not a euphemism anymore! I changed my mind! <laughs> so we went into the forest to hunt and make a safe camp. The next day I awoke to see that shining radar didn't arrive. I thought that said didn't survive, so I was like, oh, okay. Probably. So I went to hunt and left Gloria at the <laughs> camp. Then I heard the chanting of, Taka, taka, do, taka, taka, who? Then I got closer. Can you please put that in a reader, too? When I got closer, I saw monkeys dancing around a fire, but in the fire were the burnt remains of Charles. Oh my god! Charles, no! Who was Charles? No! I ran away fast, thinking they were attacking demon monkeys, and they were. (laughs) Wait, who was... I'm serious, who was Charles? Charles is the guy uh, at the meeting who was, like, the first meeting who was explaining all the stuff that was going on. Oh, yeah. I remember the name, I just don't know what he did. Yeah, and he was like, you forgot your fish, or whatever. The burnt remains of Charlie shit. Chase. Oh no, you're right, he did. He was the, you forgot your fish. He was so helpful, he's dead! Oh my god, poor Charles. Ah, I screamed as I ran away. I found a good log to hide in. (laughs) Log. So I ran in and watched the monkeys march by. I waited five minutes before going out. Then I ran towards the Katada forest. Then I, when I got there, I saw more monkeys. No, I have to warn Buggy about this, I thought. (laughs) Just... And then Chase commented, don't worry, Gloria will be fine. I'll just leave her. Oh yeah, Gloria was there, huh? Yeah. (laughs) I left Gloria at the camp. Eh, that's fine. You'll just find the burnt remains of Gloria. Yeah, honestly, at this point. Who cares? Is Gloria the penguin? Yes. Evil monkeys and a box end. I ran for miles and miles until I found the waterfall. I ran through it and knocked on the white rock. The s- then Spy Factor opened the door. Hello, Firetail. Where's Gloria and Shining Radar? Asked Spy Factor. No time to explain. I need to see Buggy, I yelled. Okay, this way, said Spy Factor. I followed him to Buggy. Ah, Firetail, back so soon. Did you fail or not? Asked Buggy. <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> Whoa. Jeez, Buggy. No time. There are evil demon monkeys coming r- coming this way, I exclaimed. Demon monkeys? Are you crazy? Questioned Buggy. I told him about my journey to Narsal and ex Laurent's lair. It changes spelling every time. How Shining Radar stayed behind and Gloria at the camp. Then I told him about the monkeys. We must get rid of the monkeys, ordered King Buggy. He told his guards to shut the gates and told his admiral to get Gloria. Then I saw a female cat wearing a crown. She was black and white. Then I saw Buggy run up to her. I heard Buggy saying stuff to her. Then Buggy came up to me. 
Firetail, this is Queen Maisie, said Buggy. Hi, I whispered. So we talked and talked and talked until the Admiral returned with Gloria, but Gloria had a big cut on her side. What happened, I asked. She told me that Avoct found her and tied her to a tree. Then she told me that the monkeys were working for Avoct. Oh, and by the way, I fell into a mermaid's clam, said Gloria. Great, more magic, I thought. <laughs> okay, oh, by the way, where was the mermaid? You're in a forest. They were in a desert and then a forest. Where could they possibly have found a clam? This is Terraria. You're right. Okay, if we actually read this as taking place in the Terraria world, this makes so much more sense. Yeah, it really does. <sighs> then I heard the monkeys coming. The monkeys are coming. Be ready, yelled the scout. <laughs> <laughs> Then I heard the Buggy. monkeys coming. The monkeys are coming! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. What are, uh, what are your orders, I asked. Um, uh, you take command. I don't know much about wars, cried Buggy. Mood. Listen up, everyone. I have a plan, I yelled. The monkeys, the monkeys are on the hills, right? Yes, they are. Why do you ask? Asked a guard. We can fire catapults at them. <laughs> catapults. Oh my god, catapults. <laughs> I declared. You heard him. Fire the catapults, yelled Gloria. The catapults started firing away, and soon I heard victory chants. The monkeys are retreating. We have won, yelled the guards. Good, now, Buggy, what do you say that we go ta- attack Avact? I yelled. Yes, he must pay for his trickery. <laughs> and then he just chased commented, yep, that's it, answered Buggy. They said the thing. So we gathered the elite guards, guards, admirals, and spy factor. Then we marched to the desert. We had to wait a while because cabals were crossing the desert. <laughs> just the whole desert. <laughs> just, they're at like a tr- there's just the train track crossing things go down, a bunch of camels going by. Oh, God. Oh, Animal Crossing. They're d- oh, my God. Oof. Then I saw the hole that went to Accelerarion's... Change spelling again. Lair. Everyone be ready to fight, I said. Buggy, Spy Factor, Gloria, and Maisie, please follow me. We all jumped into the hole. Once inside, we saw Shining Radar was tied up. I looked around, but I didn't see them. Shining Radar, where is Accelerarion and Narsil? I whispered. Getting some spice in the forest, she answered. I cut the ropes and we headed towards to eat her. Right. That makes more sense. Okay. We'll season it. I I cut the ropes and we headed towards Avax Castle. The castle was huge and had banners everywhere. Let's just march in and get it over with, yelled Buggy. No, first we should negotiate, I ordered. If we're not out in ten minutes, burn down the castle. Me and Buggy walked inside. That escalated quickly. The walls were dark brown and had light bulbs! Exclamation mark. At the end of the hall was a golden door that said Avoct's quarters. I opened the door and Avoct was sitting in the middle of the room. Why are you here? Avoct asked. <laughs> Mood! Someone just stroll in my room. Why are you here? No question mark. Just... No, of course just, not. Just, why are you here? We are here to negotiate, answered Buggy. What are you here to negotiate about, you stinky cats? Avoct, you're a you're cat! You're a tiger! We are here to negotiate about freedom in Osterson and Canada, I exclaimed. Ha ha ha, you will never have freedom in Osterson or Canada while I still have rule over the greatest armies in the world. Guards seize them, yelled Avoct. A score of soldiers came in the room and tied us to the wall. <laughs> there will be no ex- escaping my castle, you filthy cats, yelled Vact. While he was talking, I was cutting the ropes. <laughs> Finally, we were loose. I'm, I'm so confused. How- they're all animals. How are th- This whole time I've been imagining them walking on four legs like animals. Are they walking on two legs, like Red Wall style? Oh, man, I don't know. Because, like... Yeah, how do they... They can't tie knots. They don't have opposable thumbs. How did they get tied up? Period. Are they, like, hog-tying them? Oh, man, I don't know, dude. How do you dude. tie up a cat? Yeah. How do you tie up a pet? I guess penguins are easier than cats. Yeah, they're just kind of, like, little, little like, They're just, like, nodules. oblong. Yeah. But, like, cats... Oh, man, there's, like... There's literally a whole saying about wrangling cats and how hard it is to wrangle cats. I have a lot of questions. <laughs> Me, too. Finally, we were loose. Hey, Avoct, you have ten seconds to surrender, I yelled. How did you get loose, Avoct cried. I'm a cat, what can I say, I whispered. This cr- this yelling, whispering, crying, like the sound levels <laughs> remind me of, like, Jupiter ascending. I know, me too. <laughs> I just am hearing fucking Eddie Redmayne's voice in my head. <laughs> I create life! And I destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> There's no volume modulation in either that movie or this this story. Everyone goes from screaming to whispering within oh, a God. sentence. This is, I've not laughed this hard in so long, dude. This I is wish incredible. I could laugh. I know, I'm so sorry. The me and buggy ran outside. Burn the castle, everyone, I ordered. Fire arrows, catapults, and torches were shot, fired, or thrown at the castle. As the castle burst into flame, I saw Avoct escape. He ran towards the river and pushed a log, <laughs> log into it and jumped on. Some scouts were sent after him, but Avoct was gone. By midnight, ca- the castle was in ruins. The scouts returned and said Avoct left Osterson. Then he ran into the land beyond Katada. We had a celebration and sang songs. Then we said farewell and left. 
Part 5, I... Journey Home. Me, Shining Radar, and Gloria made a camp in the forest at around 3 o'clock in the morning. We hunted a bit, then slept in a dreamless night. The next day, we woke up to see a wolf outside our tent. He looked a lot like Charles. Charles? asked Shining Radar. Yes, Shining Radar, I'm Charles. It's a long story, but I'll tell you it anyway. Charles exclaimed. He's alive. After the monkeys technically killed me, I went into a dark world of death. <laughs> 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 then a light was in the center. I walked towards it. It turned out to be a creature called an elf. Oh my god. It was magic. She had a wand and with it brought me back to life. At first I didn't remember who I was or where I was. Then it all came back to. So I decided to look for you and I found you. That's strange. There's no spell to bring things back to life and you're lucky to see an elf. T- they rarely pass through this land, I cried. We talked a lot a while longer then headed to Ava local Mystic Water. Then we got when we got there. Okay, y'all. I don't know if I've expl- explained this or if like I did at the beginning, but Ava local Mystic Water is all one word and it's never capitalized. When we got there, we saw that Kelvis Presley was in town. <coughs> <coughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> <sighs> what the fuck? Thank you, thank you very much. Ah, Shining Radar, what a pleasure to meet you. And Firetail, the new bet. Ba- Kelvis didn't finish his sentence because Shining Radar and Gloria said shh. What are they up to, I thought. Then we headed to Fortrees. Soon we were traveling north on the Blueberry Trail. We were not heading straight to Fortrees. We had a few stops on the way as we traveled on the Blueberry Trail. Dark shapes of trees and leaves covered the ground, but I saw something move in the trees. There's something following us, I whispered. I don't see anything but trees, Shining Radar said. Boom, boom, boom. We turned around and saw a gun. (laughs) Hunters, I cried. Oh, there's humans? Oh, that took a turn. What the fuck? Hunters, I cried. More humans came out with guns. Hey, there's some animals. Let's shoot them, yelled a human. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I don't even have any complaints about the accuracy of that dialogue. Me neither, honestly. Don't hurt us, Gloria cried. I love how they're just in the woods and they just see a penguin and they're like, oh, okay, cool. Let's shoot them. I don't think they understand us, Charles said. So we ran into a hole. Then the hunters poured hot water down the hole. What? It was so hot. It was too hot, so we jumped out. The hunters put nets on us and put us in a truck. Then they put needles in us and we went to sleep. I woke up in a cage at a strange building. There were scales and computers, and most of all, humans. How do you know what computers are? You're a cat. Yeah, and a cat until a up wild until this cat. Point. And like, how? What are the what are the humans doing? Like, how do they account for random like castles with tigers living inside of it and stuff? Uh, you know. Let's just ignore they that. They don't. They don't. It's like the cat returns. You have to like go to the animal world to see all this. Right. Oh, okay. 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 Cats, wolves, penguins, dogs, birds, bugs, amphibians, and a few other animals are indengered or not allowed in this hunting competition, said a police officer. So the humans let us go. <laughs> Chase goes, yep, just let the wolves out on the streets. Good plan. Great plan. We wandered the streets of the town. On the way out of town, I saw a sign that said, welcome to Alti City. So we headed into the unknown. Soon we saw a river. It was the Osterson River. So a tea, some fish. Oh, so... So ate some fish, then crossed it. Then we saw tall trees in the distance, but it wasn't four trees. It looked like a jungle, capitalized. We entered the jungle and saw tigers. Oh no, tigers. This is the land of tigers, Strawn, Shining Radar explained. Uh, the king is a friend of mine. He will tell us which way four trees is. So we headed into the deep vine part of the jungle. Soon we saw gold tree houses, torches, and castles. We headed towards the biggest one. Halt, said a tiger gourd. What business do you have here in the land of tiger, Strawn? We are here to see Tigeron, King of Tigerstron, King of Shining Radar replied. May I see you ID card, the gold word said. We gave it to him to him. They had ID cards this whole time? Why do the animals have ID cards? Yeah, and Where was she keeping them? Shining Shining Radar, leader of Fortrees and Avalocal Mystic Water, which is finally capitalized for the first time. Gloria of Fortrees, warrior and member of Avalocal Mystic Water Clubs. Charles, vice leader of a-, a-, a local Mystic Water, and Firetail, warrior of four trees. Ah, and the new bet he didn't get to finish because Shinning Radar stopped him. What is he bet? Was... What do they keep starting to say? I don't know. He didn't get to finish because Shining Ra- Shinning Radar stopped him. Can we just go see Tigeron? Shining Radar asked. Uh, sure, the guard said. Then he let us in. Tigeron didn't look... Oh, Tigeron looked old and very... <laughs> Tigeron looked old and weak, very weak. A few days ago, well, maybe 30 days ago, Avak put Piosin in Tigeron's drink. <laughs> then he ran off. Tigeron is going to die if no one helps him, said the guard. Let me try, Shining Radar yelled. And then Chase goes, why is everyone always yelling, I yelled. I mean, yeah. Then she used spells. An hour later, she finally found a spell. Incro Lanxo heal the Piosion from the body. Yankso Incro. 
finally the wrinkles and gray fur went away. He looked strong and powerful. Thank you, Shinning Radar, for lifting the spell on, on me. I will give you two gifts or two wishes for your help, Tigeron said. Apparently he's a, a genie. Yes, I have two wishes. One is to show me where Fortree is. Number two uh, is to give each one of my friends three wishes. <laughs> Shining hey, Radar no wishing for more wishes. Okay, I'll do that, Tigeron agreed. He told us where Fortree was and gave us three wishes. I wished, wished for a giant fish supply, a newly decorated and spacale then, and that buggy would get a new castle. Then we left and headed for four trees. Uh, part six, the beta deputy. Oh, oh no. I bet that's what they're starting to say. The beta deputy ceremony. In the distance, I could see four trees, but trouble was coming. I could feel it. We walked up a hill and onto the South Cherry Blossom Trail. We were almost to four trees when I began to feel weak. Soon I collapsed and had weird dreams. In the dream, I saw the cat of the forest burning. By the forest was a huge river. On the other side were three islands. One had human cities, the other had cats, and one of the south had dogs. On the cat island were skyscrapers and a huge black tower in the forest. The black tower... God, this is like all one sentence. The black tower had Vox flags and an army was coming out to attack the cities. Then I saw Buggy, me, Sh Shinning Radar, and Gloria going to the city. I woke up to see Shinning Radar putting wet moss on my head. Finally, you woke up. We have been waiting for two hours, Shinning Radar yelled. <laughs> I took the moss off my head. Sorry, I collapsed and had weird dreams, I said. Let me see your dreams, Shinning Radar whispered. Then she used magic to see what dreams I had. Interesting. Wait, what's this? Weird. Firetail, you had a peek into the future. The, dis the dream about a Vox army and the islands, it's the future. About 13 years in the future. We must stop a war from happening when we are there, explained Shinning Radar. So we continued the journey to Four Trees. When we got there, Shinning Radar told us to go in our dens and sleep. I have so many questions. <laughs> me too. The next day, I went outside to see the town deserted, all but me and Gloria. I looked towards the forest. I could see the four trees in the distance. They had decorations on them. I told Gloria to follow me to four trees. When we got to the north entrance, we heard music with a capital M. We walked inside. Charles ran up to us. Firetail, Gloria, please go up onto the stage. What stage, I asked. The one with the microphone, said Charles. A microphone? Where did you get all this stuff? I yelled. We got them from Cat City. It's the largest city in this land. Humans used to own skyscrapers and buildings, but the cats came and took over. <laughs> well, that's why they want to hunt them. So it's like an alternate universe. I hate that this actually is starting to make sense. I know, me too. Like, now that we wrap around back to it, that probably wasn't even intentional. Yeah. <sighs> Cat City is on Cat Island, which is in Catada, Charles explained. But you should get on stage. We are hanging out awards. Okay, I said. So I went up on stage and stood next to Shinning Radar, Gloria, and a few others. The ceremony was about to begin, but we heard horns, drums, trumpets, and marching paws. We have visitors, lots of visitors, said a guard. Then we saw flags and banners over the tree. I saw the flags of Canada, Avaloka Mystic Water, Sota, South Avaloka Mystic Water, <laughs> South Avaloka Mystic Water, Tiger Strawn, Great Plains of Lions, Avalik, Osterson Wolf Pack, Oster Clan, Cat City Warriors, Warriors, Dog Islands, Republic, and North Four Trees. The first animal to appear was King Buggy. You guys can't leave me that easy, Buggy said. All the animals came from and found their seats. A few more animals came on the stage. Oh, they boy. were King. Oh God. <clears throat> King Buggy, Charles, Tigeron, Liontail, Alu, Oster Who are they? I don't know. Blanche Trader, uh, Maisie, Abby, Gigi, and Oster the Second. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now Chase has explained this. King Buggy is King of Canada and Cat Island. Charles is the vice leader of Avalocal Mystic Water. Tigeron is the King of Tigerstron. Uh, Liontail is the King of Lion Plains. Alu is Wolf Pup from Avalik. Ostertist, leader of the Osterson Wolf Pack. Black Trader. Black, Black Trader, leader of Oster Clan, Maisie, Queen of Canada, Abby, Queen of Dog Islands Republic, Gigi is Princess of Dog Islands Republic, and Oster the Second is the leader of North Four Trees. Can Holy I just God. say that I love that all of them sent like a valid adult leader, and then Avalik just sends a wolf, a random wolf pup. Yeah, it doesn't say like wolf pup prince or princess. It's just it's wolf just a pup. random one. Yeah, of course, you, as one does. It's like, instead of sending a representative to the United Nations, we were just like, here's someone's baby. <laughs> like, hey, this chicken in New York had a baby yesterday, so here's that. Let the ceremony begin, Charles yelled. Shinning Radar stepped in front to give away the awards. The bravery award goes to Firetail for being brave in battles, saving Katada and saving me in the desert. The courage award goes to... Isn't bravery and courage kind of Pretty the same much. thing? Pretty much. The Courage Award goes to Gloria for going on the journey with a capital J, even though she didn't know any fighting moves or how to survive without anyone else. The Learning Award goes to Firetail because he didn't know anywhere but four trees. Charles, you may hand out your award, said Shinning Radar. Thank you. The Leadership of Osterson ID Card Award Certificate and Deed goes to uh, Shinning Radar for being smart and a nice and good leader of four trees. North four trees, Avalocal Mystic Water, South Avalocal Mystic Water, and North Osterson Forest, said Charles. Leadership of Osterson. Oh, 
cried Shinning Radar. Can and I she just fell say to the ground. The way that they're like naming all these awards and stuff, and just like the ridiculous names of them, is giving me flashbacks to high school. Oof, yeah, big Like, the senior scholarship awards, whatever thing night, where they all have, like, three million word ridiculous names. Oh, okay, Shining Radar faints. Uh, Then she fell to the ground. Then we called the medic over. She just fainted. You will have to go on without her, said the medic. There were many more awards, but these last two were important. We now wish for you to join us in a remembrance ceremony for those who have died. Here are the different kinds of animals and jobs that were lost. The beta of But not Charles! No. The Beta of Fortress, who is Mr. Oster, Canada Citizens and Warriors, Tigerstern Warriors, Canada Elite, Gawar, Gawards, Oster Clan Warriors, Fortree Warriors, and a very weird one, me, Charles, the second or vice leader of Avalocal Mystic Water. <laughs> okay, apparently that's Charles. He is having a remembrance ceremony for himself. Now we remember those who are lost or taken by my humans, Lions Warriors, Tigerstern Warriors, Avalocal Mystic Water Warriors and Citizens, and the Rouge Animals, said Charles. Now the two that you have been waiting for, the best and most ready for war country, is Canada. Two, uh, good job, King Buggy, for making them battle ready. King now the most popular- did nothing! He, yeah, he, he literally is like fucking King Julian from, uh, Madagascar. what is it? Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I've been picturing, actually. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Shame on you, Maurice. Can you not see that you have insulted the freak? Uh, now the most popular animal in Ostracen, Firetail. I'm the most popular, I thought. That's so cool. Shining Radar, wake up just in time to say her special secret award, the new beta. The new beta of Ostracen is Firetail. Now who's ready to crank up the heat with music, games, foods, drinks, live concerts, and, well, fun, yelled Shining Radar. Shining Radar actually works for student engagement oh, at, God, at your yeah. local university. She would be the student body president, though. I'm the new beta of Ostracen. That means I'm important, I thought. Kelvis, you may begin your concert, said Shining Radar. We all started dancing and Kelvis moved on to his next song. This is this is my last song. Well, okay, how about two more? <laughs> <laughs> Hound Dog continued for a minute. Then <laughs> Kelvis left. Okay. Okay. That's actually worth including that reference just for that joke. I'm sure that's the only reason why he did that. I'll allow it. Now it's time for games. We have mice catching contest, tree cutting contest, Wait. a roller coaster from Cat City. How can you have mice catching contests if all the animals are sentient? Cats gotta eat. Oh my god, okay. Maybe mice aren't. Maybe it's only, like, larger mammals. What is your cutoff? If there was a really, 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 like, giant mouse, would it be intelligent? I think, no, I'm thinking, like, species. Like, only certain species are. Oh, okay, so that's the kind of thing you're into. What the fuck? (laughs) You speciesist. God lord, let's... Go on, okay. <laughs> oh god, oh no. Um, <clears throat> a roller coaster from Cat City, balloon dart toss, beanbag throwing, and our biggest thrill, the Tree of Terror, yelled Shining Radar. We all ran to the games. I was the first in line for the Tree of Terror. It was a tall tree with seats with belts on a metal floor that goes up and down fast. Me and 23 others went on. It went so... up slowly and down slowly. Every shoe drops, it went faster. After five minutes, it went so fast that I couldn't see anything. Oh the my god. I, got, I got off and almost fell over. That's like, like a torture me, device. Me, me, me. It's just like shaking them violently in place. <laughs> Whoa, holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, my mental picture is incredible. That's I ride, I'll never go on again, I said to myself. As I went over to the mice catching contest, I heard shouts. Don't cut that tree down, you hear me? Don't cut it down, it's one of the four trees, yelled a con- contestant. At the same time, I heard other shouts. Intruders, intruder alert, help, they have monkeys, yelled a guard in a guard tower. What are they, I yelled. A lion, a panther, and monkeys. Exileron and Narsal, I thought. What's this lion and panther are killing the monkeys? The lion is running away. He's holding the white flag. He wants to surrender, said the guard. Don't let him get here. Send warriors out to him, I ordered. We don't usually use the forest trees, calm, because Avak can track us down, but if I have to, I will, said the guard. He already knows where you are! You're in the same place! He picked the microphone up and said, All warriors, please come to the guard tower. All warriors, come to the guard tower. Now, with three exclamation marks. Soon, 200 warriors were here. Okay, the plan is that 50 warriors go get Exceleron, make sure he surrenders nicely, then take him to the Fortress Prison. Then 55 warriors go to get Narsal. Do the same as we did with Exceleron. Then the rest of you will go make sure that there aren't any monkeys or Vax forces in the area I ordered. <laughs> Why specifically five more for one than the other? Maybe Narsal's more dangerous? Five people worth more dangerous. They did as I said and got to work. As they did the plan, I went to Shinning Radar. Is there a problem, Firetail? Shinning Radar asked. Yes. Axelron and Narsal have been spotted crossing the Ostracen River, I said. Well, get warriors over there and make a plan, Shinning Radar ordered. I already did that, I answered. 
Well, you seem to be ready for being the new beta, Shinning Raider replied. <laughs> then I went over to the guard tower. I watched Acceleron and the four trees guards coming towards me. Why are you here? I asked Acceleron. Can't tell you, he replied. Tell me why now, I yelled. It, it, it was a vax order to find four trees and destroy it. He told us to make it seem like we were going to surrender. Please don't hurt us, he cried. Sorry, but you are a criminal. The penalty of murdering innocent animals is, I'm sorry to say, death. Take them away, I ordered. <laughs> This eight-year-old is harsh. Firetail Narsal has escaped, said the g- tower guard. I'll go tell Shinning Radar, I said. I walked over to Shinning Radar. Narsal has escaped, and already he has already crossed the border of Four Trees and Mount Osterson, I said. That's fine. Soon Narsal will wish he stayed in the desert, said Shinning Radar. What do you mean he is- escaped? That means he's out there roaming free, I yelled. Firetail, do you really want to know what's out there? Okay, I'll tell you. There is a hidden tribe. The leader of the tribe is a cat named Osterson. What? He is the cat that found this land and named it after him. His sons are Ostertist, Oster, and Osterson the second. Osterson's tribe will kill him. You should tell everyone to get ready for the feast, said Shinning Radar. I told all the animals to go to the Four Trees Center. When I got there, I smelt food. On each part of the ta- tables, there was food. Apples, oranges, pears, peaches, four trees, ale, candy corn, dandelions, nuts, juice, grass, wheat, cat city, potato chips, berries, oxys and cake, Canada cake, dog republic cake, four trees, cake, Canada ale, fish, mice, and much more food. Whew. I sat down at the head table and watched everyone come in. Soon Shitting Radar came in and started a short meeting. We're gathered here to end the fun and games that have taken place and to tell you good news and bad news. The good news is that all of Avac's warriors and servants have left Osterson after two years of treachery. Treachery. The bad news is that the humans are planning to destroy the entire forest. We do not know when, so we should keep an eye out for humans. Now let us eat and enjoy the non-war Osterson, said Shining Radar. Non-war. Then everyone started grabbing food and eating. I went to grab the last piece of fish, but before I could get to it, Buggy grabbed it and ate it, so I decided to eat fruit instead. When we were done, I love Dog that Island- that detail is yeah. included. There's like giant battles that take place in one second, but we specifically have to know Buggy ate the last piece of fish instead. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> it has taken us an hour and 13 minutes to read 16 pages. Okay, we're almost done. When we were done, Dog Island Republic left, and so did the Wolf Pack's Oster Clan and the entire Southern Forest residence. Red- Redistance. I went over to Buggy to ask him if he was leaving. Firetail, I would like to give you this, said Buggy. He pulled a horn out of a bag. The horn was glowing light blue and had red cats printed on it. Firetail, this is the horn of life. It has spacale powers that will only be unleashed by the one destined to have it. One night I was sleeping and I had a dream that Cat Bondo, the horn maker of Canada, told me that you should have the horn that you were destined to use it in many battles. The horn can heal anyone you wish if you blow the horn next to the animal who is hurt. <laughs> just somebody's lying there like bleeding out and you're just like blowing the horn in their face. Got knuckles for eight. The wounds just start knitting together. <laughs> The horn can also make a limit of five animals come back from the dead. It had six, but an elf used it to bring Charles back. Oh! <laughs> I hate that that makes sense! I actually love that this has actual, like, threads tying it through to the rest of the I plot. I love that it, is but amazing. it also makes me really mad. Me too, because this is, like, the only thing. There's no point to any of it, and then all of a sudden, like, actual consistent logic happens. Jesus. Oof. The horn can even reverse itself and hurt anything you wish. I also want you to go on my tour of Katada slash Cat City and Katamas. Is that the Cat Bahamas? I believe so, Ugh, said Buggy. Goodbye, Firetail. I hope to see you soon. Then he left with his army. Suddenly, Shinning Radar came over. The prophecy of Osterson's freedom has ended. You have a huge prophecy to come. Then I went to my den and went to sleep and dreamed of the next adventures I will have. Then the southern Osterson animals sang. The end. Oh my god, there's another one. There's, there's a sequel. <gasps> no. Oh god. Written like two or three years later. Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh holy shit. You've been listening to the retrospection section. Thank you so much for joining us on this adventure. I never, ever, ever want to read the word I yelled again. Well, I have some good news for you. <laughs> You'll never read the word I yelled again. Because Shut it's up, two because words. it's not a word. I hate you. I never... <laughs> 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 yeah, serve me right, fucking coughing fit. Oh, thanks for listening. <laughs>